Before we get into it, I should also mention we are gardening in zone three in Saskatchewan, Canada. And so if you also live in a cold climate with a short growing season, you'll definitely want to hit that subscribe button notification bell. You know the drill. I also show up every single day on Instagram and Facebook to show you exactly what I'm doing in real time in my garden. So you know what to do in yours. You can see I've got the first hoop standing here. It definitely takes a bit more tweaking than a, than a person thinks. It bends it pretty well, but it, like I said, it's not super accurate. So I definitely have to tweak it to get it to fit in there just right. It's actually pretty high with the uh, sides, just over eight feet. Now I'm gonna put the rest of the hoops up and test them on there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw them into place after I put them in the posts. I put it together. I found it was a lot easier to put this, these side, these half hoops into the posts first, and then put them, the, put the joint together up in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that. I think I found a little bit an easier way for myself at least. So what I do is I attach, I pull this one out, and I put them together up there, and then I can pull down the whole hoop and put it back in its post. It's coming together. Two more to do. Usually these slide back in, probably down to about here. But I don't want that much in here because I want to have as much height as possible. So what I did is I made a mark eight inches from the bottom of this hoop. I'm gonna pull it up until I see that mark right here at the top of the, of the post. There it is. That's right down to my mark here. Here we are. I have a 12 foot wide tunnel with about a two foot or so extension the bottom. So that makes this just over eight feet. Eight feet, it'll vary a bit. So you can see the hoop bender doesn't quite make it super accurate, but it does it close enough. Good enough for a greenhouse, that's for sure. Next order of business is to Screw all these together with some self-tapping screws. Put a few, a couple on the bottom to the posts and one attaching them together along the top. Then it will be a matter of putting a long center purlin, a ridge beam, if you will. And that should secure things pretty well, but just for extra security at the very ends here, I'll be putting some wind bracing at each corner. Okay, let's go. Let's put some screws in.
another day here working on the greenhouse. Today's plan is put the center purlin up and the wind bracing going on out here on each corner. I want to get everything ready for putting plastic on today. Can't put any on plastic on today because maybe you can see there's just a bit of wind but even that much would make it almost impossible to put on. So first plan, first step I should say, set up, I set a center mark right here. I'm gonna chalk a line all the way down. And that's how I know I'll, where I'll hit my center purlin. chalk line doesn't really stand out very well on the metal so instead I'll just leave the line there and mark it with a sharpie. Now as these poles are 10 feet long I'll need four of them to make my 40 foot long greenhouse for the top purling. But my hoops are on four foot center, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark out I'm gonna mark out four feet on center. And that's where that'll help me line up where my hoops need to go to keep everything straight. Now in order to put this purlin up there, uh, I'm working by myself, so it's gonna be a little tricky, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use some heavy duty zip ties and make a a larger loop that it can hold it, hold it in place up there while I'm drilling one end and securing it over here. Then once the first one's up, I can slip one end into the swaged end there and support and drill the other side and it should be easy to go from there. Okay, I've got the center purling up. Wasn't too bad. Drilling over your head is always a little difficult, but you can see it came together. So, next step, right here. The ends, we're gonna get some wind bracing. Going from that one up to the end. Each corner. Once that's done, that's all of the framework finished. Because this top rail is straight, when I try to span across, three of these hoops. The center one has got huge space in there. And so I've seen a lot of greenhouses, they have two smaller sections. One that goes here, and the second one that goes there. But I thought, I've already got a bender. Why not try to bend this to be the, the right angle so that one piece can hit all three points. It's a good try. It is slightly bent it, curved it, so it should fall. It falls pretty well. And I'll put that right there. Now for the real test.
Okay, the side purlins, or whatever you want to call them, are all on. All the joints are spliced. This is where the plastic will be secured along the end, and then along here. The remainder will hang down, and I'll either weigh it down this year, or I'll f finish and attach a roll-up crank with pipe going all along the bottom so that the sides can roll up. But, looks pretty good so far.